to management. And as the world celebrated Rangers Day across the globe, more support is required by government and conservation organizations to protect the life of rangers who have fallen victims to attacks by wildlife. Hezron Kimari with that report from Taita Taveta County. In the last year, over 150 rangers globally have died while in the line of duty due to wildlife attacks affecting the conservation efforts. Sadly, Statistics shows June 2021 to June 2020 to May 2022, we all we we almost lost 150 rangers all over the world. Whereby in Africa we had lost 75 rangers died while performing their duties. It is our rangers who are at the front line, whether they are battling wildfires or confronting poachers as the threats to our natural heritage are amplified so the roles and responsibilities of rangers have steadily evolved the first incident an elephant came from nowhere attacked and actually the second incident Tukasema sasa tuachane na mambo ya mugu kidogo, tuchanganye kidabres, askari wetu tukaya ndani ya magari. But all the same, the worst happened. This has advised the key conservation organizations to join efforts towards improving the rangers' safety at the Savo ecosystem. In the Savo sub-landscape, WWF Kenya supported rangers in two conserv conservancies, Wushumbu and Geno through financing their monthly salaries since September 2021. In addition, WWF Kenya has also provided the conservancies through the umbrella body, uh, TTWCA, with monitoring and camping equipment to effectively manage and carry out their duties. Kwa kwamba, to may improve networking, Tuwe kwamba renja alie lualeji, anaelewa renja alie kasikawi kuna mna gani, renja alie kambake kuna mna gani. Na na ukweli wakati tutajiliwa vizuri. Tuwe kama vile mashirika mengine na kaa, tutakuwa na luga moja and our, our conservancies will be safer. They will be safe in the hands. Kwa AWF, tulianza kazi ya kutrain rangers miaka mbili iliopita na so far, we have done 174 rangers who we have trained in this landscape hapa hapa Kasigao Ranch na pia kuna ishi, wengine 20 uh, AWF na WWF walishirikiana wengine 20 wa kutoka Kasigao kutoka Vushumbu na kutoka Mbale Ranch hizi ni ranch zinapakana hapa hizi ni conservancy zinapakana hapa waliweza kupelekwa manyani na wakapata training the rangers have been trained on first aid tactics to save more lives when attacked. Na kwa kweli bila rangers, hizi conservancy zote sitakufa. Eh, mkona 1.1 million acres na mkona 400 and 450 rangers. Sasa hiyo ni kasi gani? Inaonekana kuna pengo. Na hapo ndiyo tunasema wale wakona uwezo ya kuajiri rangers. Tuongeze rangers ndiyo kazi yao yue nzuri. We are doing a lot of things kwa training skuri yetu. Kucharipu, kutrain askari wetu. Wawese kusaidia wensao wakati machanga kama hawe anapotokea, especially wakati tuko na animal attack. Sisi tutaungana ili kutembea pamoja na njini. Na nafikiria when I'm making this commitment, I'm also making it on behalf of the partners because we recognize that the amount of work is more than any single organization can actually handle. Taita Taveta County has 28 ranches that play a key role as a wildlife buffer zones and migration corridors. Hezron Kimari, KTN News. And that report from Taita Taveta County brings us to the end of KTN News Desk. Thank you so much for your company. It's always a great pleasure. My name is Purity Musea. Do enjoy the rest of your viewing and God bless.